Hey guys, Raymond here from the Beginner Photography Podcast, and today I'm doing a real-world speed test between the Drobo 5N and the brand new Drobo 5D3. So let's get into it. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. So like I mentioned in the intro, today's video, I'm going to be doing a real world speed test between an older Drobo 5N and a newer Drobo 5D3. The test that I'm gonna be doing is not scientific at all. And the hard drives that I'm using are Western Digital Reds which are not optimized for speed. So that means that this will not be a max speed test or performance test on uh, either of the Drobos, but simply real world Drobos in real world conditions with real world files. Yeah. The exciting part about the new Drobo 5D3 is that it has built in Thunderbolt 3. That's where the three comes from. To really maximize speed performance. So let's go ahead and see who reigns supreme. Let's get into it. So I had recently upgraded from a MacBook Pro to a 27 inch iMac and no longer needed the portability of the Drobo 5N's network attached option. But I really valued the direct attached option of the 5D3 since it is faster. So this is the box that it came in and it's a very nice box. It pretty much goes over all the features. Um, but the Drobos themselves are almost identical. They look exactly the same. I'm pretty sure that it's the exact same uh, mold or casting, whatever, uh, from the front, the sides, but the only difference is here on the back with their I.O. options. The Drobo 5D3 has Thunderbolt and USB Type-C, whereas the Drobo 5N just has Gigabit Ethernet. So switching out the drives is pretty easy. You literally just pull them out of one Drobo, and stick them in the new Drobo. They make it super easy with the pull tabs on the side, which they pop right out and fit right into the new Drobo. Once it's in, you are ready to go. Slap the front back on and you can just attach it to the computer. It looks nice and clean inside, which I really appreciate. Next thing is the MSATA drive. The MSATA drive is like an accelerator bay. It's essentially a solid state drive that goes into the Drobo. The Drobo learns what your most accessed files are, and then it puts them on the solid state drive for just increased performance. Plugging it in is as easy as any external hard drive. All you do is plug in the power and then plug in the Thunderbolt 3 port to your computer. So the first test that I'm going to do is with a small sized file, it's a video, it's 3.59 gigabytes. I'm going to transfer it to both the Drobo 5D3 and the Drobo 5N. And this video is sped up so that I don't waste your time. The Drobo 5D3 completes the three and a half gig file in just 18 seconds, whereas the Drobo 5N does it in any second now, here we go, 52 seconds. So that is an increase of over two and a half times. So now this is a more real world test right here where I'm taking a wedding that I have just finished up editing, came out to 62 or 63.29 gigabytes and I'm going to tr move the file over to the Drobo from within Lightroom so that I don't mess with any uh, um, broken file links. So I sped up this footage as well. The 5D3 and the 5N completed the task. Um, the 5D3 completed the 63 gigabyte transfer in nine minutes and 17 seconds, whereas the Drobo 5N completed it in 27 minutes. Next is a test that everybody's going to want to see, which I don't really understand, but it is a speed disk test using Blackmagic software. So I was using a five gigabyte test file. Uh, so the Drobo 5D3 is on the left and the Drobo 5N is on the right. And again, this is not a max speed test as the drives inside are optimized for a NAS, which means that they operate slightly slower. But what this shows us is that the exact same drives in a Drobo that is very similar, sure it has a slightly faster processor. The biggest change here is that one is directly attached to the computer and the other one is attached through the network. So as you can see here, there is a performance boost of over 12 times. It is no slouch for sure. One of the things that doesn't affect performance at all, but I enjoy is the physical look of the Drobo. I think that it looks great hanging out on my desk. And when you pay a premium for a product like this, you really appreciate the attention to small details that Drobo has put in to their hard drive enclosure. All right guys, so there's obviously a clear winner here. The Drobo 5D3 is noticeably faster. I mean, my workflow has sped up 
tremendously by working with the 5D3, uh, migrating from the 5N. So does that mean that the Drobo 5N won't work for you? Well, no. So personally, when I was using the Drobo 5N, as a wedding photographer, the speed was fine for me. And here's why. I looked at the two Drobos completely differently. The Drobo 5N that I was using, I think would be great for a small business uh, who has to save a lot of files and the, the data needs to be kept secure and safe. Or you have files that need to be accessed by multiple computers, say on a network. The Drobo 5D3 on the other hand, I think would be suited much better for people, uh, content creators, people who have a lot of content to deal with um, and don't want to take up that space on the internal hard drive of their computers. So when I have the Drobo 5 in, what I would do is I would edit a engagement session or a wedding on that was stored locally onto my computer. And then once I was done with it and it was delivered, then I would move the entire project onto the Drobo 5 in. It was being used more for mass storage. However, now with the Drobo 5D3, I'm going to be using that as a working drive. I'm going to be importing my photos onto the 5D3 and then working off of those photos in Lightroom through the Drobo 5D3. So which one should you buy? Well, like I said, if you're a content creator, if you make a lot of videos, if you work a lot with photos and you have relatively small storage on your computer, I would go with the 5D3. I've had Drobo for years and their Beyond RAID technology is great and keeps all of your data safe. It allows for two hard drives to fail completely without any sort of data loss. And that is incredibly valuable if you own a small business or just have really, really precious files. And I think that the Drobo 5N is still a great option. In fact, they have a newer version, the Drobo 5N2, which offers two gigabit ethernet ports for faster read and write speeds. That being said, it's hard to work off of the files on any sort of network attached uh, storage device because it's just naturally going to be slower. But if you need mass amounts of storage and don't just want to keep it on one computer, then the Drobo 5N or the newer Drobo 5N2 are great options. But like I said, even with the original Drobo 5N, I never had a complaint about it. So the Drobo 5D3 has just been like a Ferrari for me. Have you worked with either the Drobo 5N or the 5D3? I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are interested in any of the awesome technology that Drobo provides, well, I went ahead and left my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to both the 5D3 and the Drobo 5N as well. I've also linked to the hard drives that I used in the Drobo 5N below and the new hard drives that I will be getting for the Drobo 5D3 as well. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I have a few more videos specifically about the Drobo 5D3 should be coming out soon. More real world reviews of a photographer who's working off of it within Lightroom. But if you have any questions about the Drobo 5D3 at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. That's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I invite you to check out the Beginner Photography Podcast, where I interview other successful photographers to find out how they got to where they are today, to help you get to where you wanna be in photography that much quicker. All right guys, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.